Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about Qasim Muhammad and the Republic of Kurdistan, also known as the Republic of Mahabad. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram for more updates from our daily work and more updates about the Kurdish situation. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. The year is 1893 and the location is the Kurdish city of Mahabad, which is located in Poshalat, Eastern Kurdistan, or more easily, Iranian occupied Kurdistan. In 1893, the city of Mahabad had about 15,000 inhabitants, a number which upon this day has grown to 250,000. It's a very special year, even though nobody knows it yet, a boy is born, a boy who will change the Kurdish history and become a legend among Kurds. His name is Qazi Muhammad. Qazi Muhammad grew up in a religious family. During his childhood, he witnessed the systematic oppression from Iran towards the Kurds. The Iranian regime regularly imprisoned, tortured and killed Kurdish citizens, a part of the fear that Iran, among with other nations occupying Kurdistan, had towards Kurdish nationalism and Kurdish unity. Within the family of Qazi Muhammad, there were several individuals who was very respected among the Kurds. The father of Qazi Muhammad cooperated with the revolt of Shimku Shikar, and the brother of Qazi Muhammad, Sadr Qazi, was a member of the Iranian parliament. <laughs> Qazi Muhammad became familiar with Islamic laws of Sharia in early years. He built himself a respected spot in the local society. Since the Kurdish language was banned, he had to learn it in private. In the 1930s, Qazi Muhammad's father passed away. A few years later, the young Qazi was nominated as a judge in Mahabad. As a judge, he made himself even more known among the people of Mahabad. People respected him and loved him for his unique charisma. Within time, he would join the Komalajiani Kurd, at the time the main Kurdish group of Iran. They were supported by the Soviet Union, who during World War II had plans of implementing northwestern Iran into the mighty Union. It was just before the escalating conflicts between Iran and Soviet as Qazi Muhammad was chosen as leader for the Kurdish group. In 1942, Komala was formed, also known as the Committee for the Revival of Kurdistan. The group's goal was to unite Kurds in all four parts of Kurdistan. Oath of political and national loyalty was sworn. Within the first month, secret schools were set up in order to expand the learning of the Kurdish language. As the political freedom expanded and expanded, the Kurds became openly hostile against the Persians of Rosh Halat. In May 1943, several police stations were destroyed, and two years later in 1945, the Komala party was dissolved and replaced by the KDP, Kurdistan's Democratic Party. With Iran out of the picture, Qazi Muhammad organized his people and built up a Kurdish republic in the area. The Kurds of Rojalat could now enjoy more and more political freedom. New and more realistic goals were set up. Kurdish autonomy within Iran. Qazi Muhammad became the KDP president. The Kurdish people relied on him and saw him as a sophisticated leader. He was well educated and could speak seven different languages fluently. Persian, Turkish, Kurdish, Arabic, English, French, and Russian. Kurds from other parts of Kurdistan heard about the success in Mahabad. Some Kurdish reinforcement arrived to the city. Among them was Mullah Mustafa Barzani, leader of the powerful Barzani clan. He arrived to Mahabad from a failed rebellion against the Iraqi regime and brought over 1,500 soldiers to the new republic in Rojalat. Barzani, Batiade, Malam Safai, Kahat, no Mahabade. Milleti Mahabade, Kurdi Erane, our Baoshi, Kido the Baoshi Gift. Barzani, Zor, Mandu, Wa Hilak Diarbu, Awas Abuma, Zor, Jagay Asafu Kama, 
کردمان باوشی و دادید که آوا پراکنده بون و در بدر بون. آوا سعی بود که آوان حتی بارابریان کم بو بارابر یعنی آوا کباری دکم بو اکم جار لیه من دیتم که گایان بارکر بون گا. Qazi Muhammad arranged his new government. Five highly ranked generals were placed under him to lead the Mahabad army. Altogether, they now controlled an army of 13,000 units. Lamala Qazi says of Kobowa, Bowe can live in Chagdari, Kurdi, Nai Tubinin. Tai Chimala Qazi, Ahmad Dasmal. حتی زیر روی دخازی که دپیشوه که کتی خوربان کتی خوربان کردواری کتی ایتی پیر پیشینا کتی آنا مرگم را پیش مرگد کده که وابو نیو نین پیش مرگه دی تیگ را آلمه که بوان در چپلا داو نیوی چکداری کرد را پیش مرگه Within time, the Allies replaced the pro-Nazi Shah of Iran with his son, Shah Muhammad Reza Pahlavi. In December 1945, Azerbaijan declared himself independent from Iran. Qazi Muhammad was invited to the ceremony as a guest of honor. On his visit, it is said that Qazi Muhammad was inspired by many things he saw. The new government of Rojhalat now looked at the opportunity to declare independence too. A few weeks later, Two flags were raised in Mahabad, one representing Kurdistan and the other representing Mahabad. In January 1946, Qazi Muhammad declared Kurdish independence from Iran. Every residence of Mahabad were empty as people celebrated on the streets. With the Kurdish anthem in the background, Qazi Muhammad swore his loyalty to the new republic. However, the Kurdish joy would be short-lived. In March 1946, Britain left Iran and one month later, the Soviet Union did the same thing. Without any protection, military or economically, the new Kurdish Republic were in danger. Many tribes who before sworn their loyalty to the Kurdish Republic could foresee a massacre coming. The Iranian army were much more in numbers, but also better equipped, and therefore many tribes left the Republic. In December 1946, Iran retook Azerbaijan. Qazi Muhammad called for a gathering of his people. He asked for the opinion of the Kurdish people. Do you want us to fight or surrender? However, the Kurdish people couldn't see how the Kurds would be able to stand against the Iranian forces. In an attempt to avoid a massacre, the decision was to surrender to Iran. At this gathering, Qazi Muhammad was to speak for the last time, and his new speech would become iconic. After this, Qazi Muhammad called his closest generals to a crisis meeting. In this meeting, Mustafa Barzani said to Qazi Muhammad, 
As a Peshmerga, I would stay with you and serve you until our last breath. But you and me, we have to leave Mahabad. Qazi answered, I'm not leaving. I brought this upon our people. If I leave, they will say that I abandoned them. Qazi gave Mustafa Barzani one last task. He took out the Kurdish flag from his pocket and told Barzani to protect it with his life. This is the symbol of the Kurdish nation, Qazi Muhammad said. Mustafa Barzani promised, shaked his hand and left with his forces to the Soviet Union where he would stay for several years before being able to return to Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. In December 17, Iran retook Mahabad without facing any opposition. However, many civilians were taken prisoners, charged for treason. Among them were Qazi Muhammad, his brother Sadri Qazi, and his cousin Saifi Qazi. Qazi was charged with separatism, treason, and working as a Soviet agent. A few weeks later, rumors of Qazi Muhammad's execution spread. People were crying as they could see the body of Qazi Muhammad hanging in public as he was executed in 31st of March 1947. A wave of executions in Rojhalad would follow. However, the Kurdish Republic has until this day not yet been forgotten and neither has its leader, who today, over 60 years later, is a symbol of Kurdish nationalism.